What's up everybody? Welcome to Let It Be Known. Hopefully it's not lagging too much because I do have my phone instead of my actual camera right now. So when I do get my actual camera, we drop the fucking bangers, nigga. But nah, but uh, so today we're going to be ranking the top 10 quarterbacks for ne this next coming up season. And I'm going to start from least to greatest. And um, so fuck it, let's, let's get it started. So at the number 10 spot this year for this next coming up season... I got I got the I got the Super Bowl winner actually. I got Matthew Stafford at number ten. I got Matthew Stafford dropping off this year. You know, Matthew Stafford is a dog, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't fuck with the Rams because you see you see you see the Niners. I'm rocking with them that you know, sadly, they beat us in the in the game that matter. You know, we beat we swept them in the regular season, but that shit don't matter, I guess. Uh, apparently apparently you can beat a team twice and get smacked smacked, you know, in the final game. It happens. But uh, with Matthew Stafford, I got the Rams with a little mini drop off this season, just cause they lost OBJ. You know they got Allen Robinson, they got Cooper Cup, but I just don't. I'm not a huge believer in Matthew Stafford still. I think he's a good quarterback. He proved himself this year, but I still don't have him anywhere above top ten for this next coming up season. Uh, well, my number nine spot, I got Derek Carr. I feel like the Raiders are going to make a huge improvement. And I don't want to hear no excuses from you goddamn Raider fans this year, man. This is your last and final year with Derek Carr. Like, excuses. He got a team around him. He got a wide receiver. He got a line. He got a D-line. Like, he should. He, I don't want to hear the excuses this year. This is Derek Carr's year. Fucking get him on the field and let him go prove himself. But if he's, if he don't ball out, didn't y'all just guarantee that, man, some money? Y'all fucked. I'm going to be smooth on the Raiders today. But, uh, yeah, the Raiders, man, y'all might y'all might have some with Derek Carr. It just depends what he does. But I believe in Carr. I think he has an opportunity to prove himself for the first time in some years. So, uh, best of luck to that boy. At uh, number eight, number eight, number eight, I got the dog, the second-year quarterback, Trey Lance. That's my guy. Y'all see the y'all see the y'all see the jersey in the background. And I think Trey Lance is gonna be fantastic this year with Kyle Shanahan. I like that they got Brandon Ayuk there. They got Debo Samuel. You know, they got a lot of key pieces. And they ain't got Bummo Grappolo. Jimmy Grappolo, man. That nigga's a bum. He's a bum. I bet Trey should have started last year. I think Jimmy never been better than Trey since training camp last season. But um for whatever reason they kept Jimmy in, so fuck it. You know, this is hopefully I wish him the best of luck with whatever team he goes to back up on. But um yeah, your time torching us is over, man. I appreciate you for the first couple of years you had. Number seven. Uh, my number seven list I got Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. What is light skinned motherfucker at, man? Oh, okay, I ain't about to try to do the frog accent. You know, I was gonna try to do it, but you know, that ain't my body. I ain't my body, I can't do it with the voice accents and voice whatever. But um, at number seven, I got Patrick Mahomes. I think losing Tyreek is going to be a bigger drop-off than pe what people are originally thinking. Losing Tyreek is going to be big. I like you still got Kelsey. They still got, you know, they still got a solid-ass wide receiver room. Like, don't don't get me wrong. Patrick Mahomes is still that guy. But losing Tyreek, you can't just go, <coughs> fuck it. You can't do that no more. Just, you know, fuck it. Tyreek down there somewhere. Can't do that no more. So... We're gonna see what Pat Mahomes can do, you know. I believe Pat Mahomes still that guy, so I just got him. I just got him number seven this year. Love it or hate it. At number six, I got that bad man, Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers really should could be higher than number six. I know that's back to back MVPs, so it's like I know y'all probably thinking like this is motherfucker hating, but nah, uh, losing Devonte and all that the whole rookie class, I think. Uh, yeah, that's going to hurt that man. And I'm only giving him six because he's back-to-back -back MVPs. Because he's Aaron Rodgers, you don't want to underestimate that man. But losing Devontae does knock him off out of top five for me. Uh, best of love for Rodgers. Number number five. Number five. And this guy could really be anywhere higher. He got beautiful hair. You know, tall white boy. Where you at? Yes, Yes, sir. There you are. All right. Let's fix that. We got Justin Herbert. I don't know why I can't move this shit, but I'm gonna let me do it like this. All right, so at number five, I got Justin Herbert. I like what the Chargers got. Uh, they just brought what Khalil Mack, so they're gonna have a nice defense. 
they kept giving up, blowing up games last year to the weak ass Raiders. I'm like, they what? They lost to the Raiders in a. It was towards the end of the season. I can't remember off of the score, but that was a big game they lost. The Chargers gave up a lot of leads. I really had them going pretty deep in the playoffs, at least to the second round uh, last season. But I guess not. But uh, hopefully this season, I, I see the Chargers picking it up. I see them changing the team around with all the new pieces that they brought in there. So, yeah, I'm putting Herbert at five. At my number four, I'm putting Tom the Goat Brady. Where you at, Tom? Where you at, Tom? Where you at, Tom? All right, man. I, I really can't find this motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Where is Tom? Where is Tom? Did, did, did they like? Did they think he actually retired or something, bro? And they just didn't add him to the list. That's what I'm looking because I'm, I'm like, it ain't hard to spot him. Yo, yo, yo. I really think I don't think they added, bro. That's crazy. Because I think he retired. All right, fuck it. So this is what we're going to do, y'all. We're going to put Tom Brady. <laughs> fuck it. We're going to put TB, Tom Brady. Uh, number four, I got Tom Brady, though. Tom Brady, it's his last season. I think he's going to give it all he has. Whatever he got left in that tank is coming out this season. I don't think he liked it. I don't think he liked the way that they ended last season against the, um, against the Rams in the playoffs. And I think this is his redemption tour, last and final. Give it all he's got. Uh, yeah, that's why I, that's just why I got Tom this year. I don't think Tom's gonna go anywhere under five or yeah above five. But at number three, I'm going with Joe Burr. Joe Burr. Joe Shiesty, the coolest quarterback in the league. Uh, the reason I'm going with Joe Shiesty, I like the way that they ended last season. I like the way that they ended last season with Jamar Chase. With I wish they didn't lose Uzi. Uzi was it like I don't want to say Uzumaki. I'm a Naruto fan, but I saw I always call him Uzumaki. But Uzi, some he went to the Jets. That was a nice tight end. I wish that they would have signed back. And he didn't go for a lot of money, so I don't see why the Bengals didn't even try to match that deal. Like, why would y'all not bring in a tight end that's with that talent? You think tight ends grow on fucking trees? Like, do y'all know where y'all live, bro? Like all right, man. I'm gonna get off the Bengals, but I like I like Joe Burrow though. I like I like how they're coming this season. At my number two spot, let's ride. Hold on, let's ride. Let's ride. Nah, at my number at my number two spot, I'm going with Russell Wilson. And this motherfucker been terrorizing us. I don't know why they got him looking so slim and nice in this, knowing this motherfucker got a double chin. All right, Russell Wilson is not this fit no more. But I'm going to give him that number two spot because I think having a team built around him for the first time ever probably in his career. You know, when he, came to, he when he went with the Seahawks early in his career and won that Super Bowl, it was the Legion of Boom. He already had a team around him. Pete Carroll's just, you know, Russ, little, you know he's a little boy. Like, little boy, get on my, like, sit on, you know, sit on my side, on my hip, man. So, you know, so Russell Wilson really has a, you know, spread his wings like the Hawks, you know, spread his wings. So I like I like the Broncos. They got a nice wide receiver core over there. Um, the real question, it seems like that's on every every team this motherfucker goes to, even though it's only second team. O line, who are they gonna be able to protect? Russ, that's a nasty division. He got to go against. Are they gonna be able to hold up? I don't know. I'm pretty sure the Niners play the Broncos this season. So you know we got Nick Bosa. And, yeah. Just saying. Good luck. Uh, number one. It's only you know it's only one person that belongs here. It's only one person left. The guy that should have beat Pat Mahomes in overtime. If he would have got a fair chance at the ball, I'm going Josh Allen as my and I'm actually as my number one quarterback this year, but also my MVP. And it's so sad to think that the MVP race is really just a quarterback race. You know, like the best quarterback is never an offensive weapon. It's never like you know, it's not. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a quarterback's competition. And hopefully, maybe I don't know if they'll have to take away MVP. I don't know if you should do that because there is twelve players, 
And it, it's, you know, it's really hard to give somebody else the MVP that's not quarterbacks. The quarterback has the ball in his hand the most. Quarterback makes the most decisions. So, but anyways, I got Josh Allen as my number one quarterback for this coming up season. I like what they're doing last season. That they're going to build off it. They added, what, Von Miller? You know, uh, I wish they would have added one more offensive weapon at wide receiver. Hopefully, they'll make a trade. Maybe bring in DK. Maybe a Lockett. That would be filthy, right? I think that would be filthy because who the fuck want to play with Drew Lock? Who the fuck want to play with Drew Lock? But DK, DK wants to get paid, and that's going to be another problem. So you might want to go with Lockett. Maybe try to bring Lockett in. DK is expecting a bag. You're already going to. Be already about to be paying Josh Allen a bag, or Josh Allen's getting a bag, uh, Von Miller's getting a bag, Stefan Diggs getting a bag, you feel me? So, I don't think they're going to be able to pay DK that bag also, so fuck it, go get Lockett, I like Lockett, I like Lockett with the Bills, I like Lockett with the Bills, Lockett is a versatile wide receiver that can move down the field, much like a Tyreek, let him go out there and just do what he does, you know? You ain't got to uh, really even draw up a route if you really didn't want to. Just tell him, go, go get it. So um, that's my, this is my first video, y'all. appreciate y'all for stopping in. Let it be known in the comments. Drop a comment, like, share. If not, I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. Catch the next video. Peace.